Hey, how you doing? Uh, I got another video I thought I'd make for you guys um, having to do with a window here at my house. So I'm standing just outside of the office in my house and uh, you can see behind me there's um, a window that's in the front of the house and I've got the blinds lifted up because that window is what we're going to work on today. So let me tell you what, what happened to it. Uh, we built this house in uh, 2011, late 2011 we moved in. Um, so we've you know been here about nine years right now. Um, a little over nine years and um, this window one of the four windows in this uh, window assembly that you see behind me uh, got some stuff in between the glass and um, and I actually uh, I did, I'm not actually fixing it I did not fix it but I did end up doing a warranty claim with the manufacturer so my windows were manufactured by a company called Pella um, and I decided to contact them I you know said let's give it a shot uh, I was not optimistic when I did that, um, but when I did, I actually had a great conversation with uh, uh, a phone support guy there at the company at Pella. I described it to him. He walked me through how to find the serial number on the window, which was difficult. Uh, so I found the serial number, read him the serial number, told him everything over the phone, and they replaced it for me. Uh, but what they did is they just shipped me a replacement sash. So what I'm going to do in this video is just show you how I found the serial number because it's tricky. Uh, and then we're going to replace the sash. It's a quick job. It'll just take a few minutes. Okay, so first, uh, uh, while I'm zoomed out, I just wanted to show you where the serial number is generally located. And then I'm going to show you up close. Uh, the guy on the phone told me that it could be in a few different spots. And he said it's varied over the years, so he couldn't tell me exactly where it would be. But on my particular window, it ended up being right here. And it's actually in the edge, but this is the zone that we're going to look at right here on the window. And something to keep in mind is that on this window, the one that's bad is this one. It's got some fog in it and, and, and stuff in between. But they still treat this window assembly here as one window with one serial number. So at first I was looking for a serial number on this one because this is the bad one. But that's not how it works. There's one serial number for the whole thing. And on mine, it was located right in there. Um, it's actually in between the panes, um, in between the glass panes, right there. You see there's, there's like a, an aluminum piece on the inside, and it's like a, uh, uh, you know, inkjet, you know, like dot matrix computer printed serial number. Um, it's got all the data right there, and that's what they actually need to, um, to authenticate your window and send you a replacement. When I first noticed this kind of fog stuff you can see it it's all over the place like right there you know i thought it just needed to be cleaned so i cleaned it and uh, it just didn't come out so for comparison you know here's the window sash above it it's beautiful and perfectly clean so again uh this is a uh two two window sashes it's a double hung window there so there's an upper and a lower sash and then there's a, a left and a right um and then, like I said, this one on the left is what we're going to replace. Okay, so uh, a few weeks after I had my call with Pella, uh, this big flat box came uh, delivered to the house. Uh, you can tell it's, uh, it's not very thick and it's just uh, banded together. I've not even opened it yet, um, but we'll open it up now and uh, figure out how to put it in. So again, this is the one we're going to take out, so we'll unlock it. These windows have these little catches that you can pull in, which will release it like that. Um, and this is designed to make it easy to clean. So with the window out, um, what you notice when I took it out is there's a couple of little pins and those pins engage these two things on the side. See that one? And then over here on the other side, uh, there's one right there. I don't know if I can straighten that out because that's at an angle. Yeah, 
Yeah, that one was at a little bit of an angle, so I just straightened it a little bit with a screwdriver. So I have the old window sitting next to it flipped upside down, and I want to show you something. I actually forgot about this until I took this apart, and uh, this surface down here was really dirty, so I cleaned it up a little bit, and I found that right there. And what this is, is a magnetic alarm system contact. Um, so there's wires underneath this thing that go down to the alarm system. So for the new window, I need to move this magnet. So if you look on the window here, on the old window, again, this is flipped upside down. Uh, there is the magnet that matches up to that. So I need to, uh, I need to mount this magnet in the new window. Something else I did is I uh, laid the two windows on top of each other here on this desk just to make sure everything was an exact match. Um, dimensions, uh, the little clips like that, just to make sure before I uh, went drilling a hole into the replacement window uh, because that's what we will have to do to put that magnet in there. And I just wanted to make sure it all is a match and it looks like it's a perfect match. So uh, good job to Pella being able to match this window based on the serial number. So here's the magnet in the old window and obviously we just want to put it right here in the new window. Um, I, I installed these when I built the house. Uh, so I put all these magnets in I, and every single window in the house. So I know exactly how it's done. These things are just pushed in with a friction fit and there's uh, some white silicone around it. Okay, so this is what that magnet looks like if you see the full depth of it. So it's really just a, a magnet and like a plastic housing. Um, I could just put a new one on this, but um, I'll probably just reuse this one because it came out great. I'll put some new silicone on it and I'll just reuse it. So you might be thinking, uh, hey Vance, uh, you drilled a hole in your window, you voided the warranty, and you probably caused the leak that made the uh, stuff form in between the panes. That's not true actually. Uh, when I installed these, um, you know, nine years ago when I built the house, I did a ton of research. And this zone right here, this bottom section of the window, is just an empty channel. Uh, so you could drill into right here to put a magnet there for an alarm system, and it won't hurt a thing. Uh, the reason why I know is because there's like 50 windows in my house that every single one of them is done this way. Uh, and I haven't had a single problem over nine years. So. Anyway, this channel that you're drilling into is not the sealed channel where the glass is. That's up here. You've got a zone here that you can uh, drill, and in fact, it's deep enough to insert this magnet in. So back when I drilled all these, uh, I bought this bit. This is a Fortuner bit. This is a little uh, specialized drill bit, and I wanted to be able to do some really clean holes when I drilled these out. It's not a requirement to use this kind of bit, um, but this does a great job better than a regular drill bit. And uh, this particular um, hole size is 3 eighths of an inch. Yeah, these windows are fiberglass. Um, these are uh, Pella Impervia is the uh, the line, so they are fiberglass windows. So you're definitely going to want to clean that up when you're done. So you can see that fits in there. It's going to be a nice friction fit when we push it all the way in. So we'll put a little silicone on here and then push it in.
you listen carefully when I lift this up, you can hear the alarm panel chime, which means uh, it's detected that this window's opened. You hear that? So, so that's a confirmation that our alarm uh, sensor is working correctly. Okay, so as I told you, it's a pretty easy process to actually put the window sash in and out. Um, I uh, just found a YouTube video on how to do it. There's a billion of them out there. To me, this, uh, this project was more about figuring out how to get the warranty replacement. And, uh, and that's something you should keep in mind, right? So even if you think your windows or whatever it is you've got in your house might be out of warranty, uh, don't just assume that. Call the manufacturer first. I found out that those Pella windows that I bought uh, for our house when we had it built, they have a 20-year warranty. They're Pella Impervia, which is Duracast fiberglass. They're, they're kind of durable, super durable windows. But 20-year warranty, so another 10-year warranty on those things. So 10 years from now, if they, if they are leaking then, I'm going to do the same thing again. Uh, so... Another thing is don't be afraid to try to file a warranty claim just because you don't have the receipts. Obviously, I don't have the receipts for those windows that were bought 10 years ago or whatnot. Uh, bought by my general contractor. I didn't even buy them. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.